People of Earth, this is Dan Lockhart of the Ride of the Valkyrie Dan Lockhart YouTube channel. And as you can see, we're in the throes of fall here. Uh, the temperatures have been around 62 degrees for the high and 27 degrees for the low. So we're getting to the point where we kind of have to watch for ice on the road now. It's not supposed to clear up here until next Tuesday. Uh, this one's supposed to be sunny again. But I'm recording this introduction for a uh, Veterans Day tribute that I'm putting together. And I have a guest channel that's going to be part of my tribute. Uh, the name of the channel is called Into the Sunset. And the owner of that channel is called Elvis Boy. And Elvis Boy does a rendition of Lee Greenwood's famous song and I'm going to include that into my tribute. Uh, Elvis Boy did a great job with it. Uh, he has a great voice and I appreciate you Elvis Boy. Thank you very much for letting me use your song. And uh, anyway, probably not going to be riding too much longer. Uh, the Veterans Day tribute is going out to all my friends and relatives and everybody in the country, men and women that have served in our military, the, the Coast Guard, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines, uh, Merchant Marine, I just appreciate all of you very much. And if you're so inclined, please share my video and uh, just let everybody know how much you appreciate the service uh, that these people perform for our country. Definitely appreciated in my house. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. Anyway, enjoy the day. I hope it gets sunny again because when you see that mountain up there with all the colors, it's so beautiful. Like I said before, fall is my favorite time of year in Crested Butte, along with winter, spring, and summer. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today Cause that flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the man who died Who gave that right to me and I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Man, I love that song. As you can tell, we're at the Western Slope Vietnam War Memorial. I've been here several times, but I thought it would be not noteworthy to come back, and take a look at it, walk around. 
Uh, I know a few people that rode on those kinds of choppers. My buddy Bob, uh, if I remember right, my buddy Bob Medina, he was a courier in Vietnam. And he used to ride helicopters all the time. That's kind of poignant. Family member greeting their uh, presumably son or brother coming home from the war. In memory of all brothers and sisters who never return. Feel the dreams. Now there's a, a lot of names that are etched into the granite here. And like I, the woman just asked me if I knew if there were people that had died in Vietnam or uh, just West Slope people that served in Vietnam. I do not know. I'll look for the marker and see. If it, if it can uh, provide any information. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, can you imagine riding on that skid with a machine gun sitting in an open bay on that chopper? I don't know. See, isn't that beautiful? I love being here and paying my respects. We should never forget the sacrifices. Some of these guys enlisted to go and some of them were recruited. This is the ribbon that Vietnam vets wear on their uniforms. Vietnam service ribbon. When I started working at the phone company in 1972, Almost everybody, all the males anyway, that I was working with, it seemed like 90% of them had been in Vietnam and some of them fairly recently. So, oh, I see. Colorado Western Slope, Vietnam casualties. So the, the outer granite is just everybody that's just, is everybody that served in the military in Vietnam, and then these are the people that uh, did not come home. So, it's quite a memorial. You don't feel a little bit emotional while you're here, you're just... You're not human. And my brother-in-law was a, or is a, retired helicopter pilot from the U.S. Army. And I believe he may have flown these even. Well, you could see the pilot's name on this one. Crew members. I can't really read it. It's kind of faded. Paul Clark. Next to the memorial, to the west, are statues of the Welcoming home, Vietnam War depended heavily on helicopters. Taking out the wounded, taking troops in. 
Bringing the dead home. We'll give a moment of silence here. Thank you, men and women that served not just in Vietnam but in every branch of our military at any time. Thank you for your service. It's appreciated. Can you even imagine? Flying over the rice paddies, coming down, jumping in, delivering troops. I think it said on the other side of this, it was dedicated in 2003, yes, July 4, 2003. Thank you, Senator Campbell. and State Senator Tillman Bishop. Thanks everybody that worked on this. Mr. James G. Duty, the founder, thank you.
If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause that flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died who gave that right to me. And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Man, I love that song.